Clock in, clock in. Black got it just walked in. Mother on the beat. Where's your pride? Yeah, yeah. Something. Even if it means sacrificing everything. Team Black got it stand up, man. Yeah. Right now, we about to watch the reason this Nike outrage just started. And if you already know the reason, don't say it. Because I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, I hear you. Don't say it. If you already know what sparked the outrage, don't say it. Don't ruin it for the people who just now seen the reason why this outrage sparked. Because all I heard was people burning their Nikes. Hey, what y'all burning your shoes for? That disrespectful. Can't do that. Do better. What your shoes did to you? Them Nikes ain't do nothing to you. But with that being said, let's see the reason why. Clock in, clock in. If people say your dreams are crazy, if they laugh at what you think you can do, good. Stay that way. Because what non-believers fail to understand is that calling a dream crazy is not an insult. It's a compliment. Don't try to be the fastest runner in your school or the fastest in the world. Be the fastest ever. Don't picture yourself wearing OBJ's jersey. Picture OBJ wearing yours. Don't settle for homecoming queen or linebacker. Do both. Lose 120 pounds and become an Iron Man after beating a brain tumor. Don't believe you have to be like anybody to be somebody. If you're born a refugee, don't let it stop you from playing soccer for the national team at age 16. Don't become the best basketball player on the planet. Be bigger than basketball. Believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. When they talk about the greatest team in the history of the sport, Make sure it's your team. If you have only one hand, don't just watch football. Play it at the highest level. And if you're a girl from Compton, don't just become a tennis player. Become the greatest athlete ever. Yeah, that's more like it. So don't ask if your dreams are crazy. Ask if they're crazy enough. I'm pretty sure you got the same thing that I got out of that. And if you didn't get the same thing I got out of that, I'm guessing you one of them who burnt your damn shoes. Yep. You burnt your Nikes, huh? So I'm guessing you probably not going to get the same thing I got out of that. But as we can see, this commercial is not actually what everybody thinks of it. Everybody thinks Nike is probably behind this get on one knee thing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I don't think that was the message they were trying to give out in this commercial at all, whatsoever. If you would listen and see what was happening, it was basically saying, don't be scared to do what everybody is telling you you shouldn't do. Do what you want to do. Do what you see yourself doing, no matter what it takes or no matter what you sacrifice to do that. If that's what you want to do and that's what you believe in strongly, do it. Just do it. Nike. Duh. So I'm confused. How can this spark an outrage like that? Like, what is people doing? Y'all out here burning y'all shoes because Colin Kaepernick was in the commercial? You can't do that. Do better. You tripping. And you disrespectful. You just gonna turn your back on Nike like that. Just because they're giving out the message that they've been giving out since I can remember. Just do it. Now, I think a lot of people are confused. That's why they're burning their shoes and they're doing all this extra stuff. They probably thinking that they're backing this get on one knee thing. No. It's a bigger message than that. It's a way bigger message than that. And I don't know why people are turning this to a race thing. Getting everybody involved. Come on, now. 
We got to do better. But as I can see, it's a lot of people out here who mad, mad. It was really mad. Now, what good is it doing you or anybody else by burning your shoes? Tell me. Why not give it to the less fortunate people who don't have shoes like that? Instead of burning your shoes since you don't like Nike no more, give it to somebody who needs it. Instead of burning it. Or give it to the veterans that you people act like you care about so much. Give it to them. Really? I really find that stupid to me. Not calling anybody stupid because you can believe in whatever you want to believe in. And you can do whatever you want to do just like this commercial was telling all of us. But the only problem I see is making an issue out of something that doesn't even exist. What are you mad for? What you mad for? You tripping. Hell wrong with you. Now, I honestly feel like Nike is just doing what they're known for doing. And they're not being negative at all. Whatsoever. I don't know who's finding this negative, but it's not negative at all. It's not like in the commercial they were disrespecting anybody or anything, period. They were just saying, do what you want to do. What you want to do. That's it. Now, I know it's a lot of people with their opinions on this situation as well. And I really want to know how everybody feel about this. Do you feel like Nike was wrong for putting Colin Kaepernick on the commercial? Or do you feel like they were doing what they've been doing for a long time now? Let me know how you feel about the whole situation. And for the people out here burning your shoes, stop burning your damn shoes. But hopefully people can find some way to make good out of this situation. Because I feel like can't do that. Do better. But I'm about done with that one. Clock out, clock out. Black guy, just walked out. Okay. I'm out here trying to get paid, but dog, I ain't got no keys. Ain't trying to be able to say your dog, I know that you did.